Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is super new for me. This is my second video. Most of you probably came here from TikTok. So if you haven't checked out my TikTok, this is it. It's at Hannah Stelter 2. Go check it out. But I'm super excited to be doing a Q&A for you guys today so we can get to know each other a little bit. And then if you guys have any more questions or video requests, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to me for some more awesome content. I'm going to be doing some drawing tutorials and other fun stuff. So definitely drop that like and also hit that subscribe button there. I would super appreciate it. But let's get started. So I put out a request for questions on my TikTok and on my Instagram, so we're just going to go through some of those. I'm going to start with some of the Instagram ones here for you. So the first question is, what Hogwarts house are you in? Um, I actually don't know. I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter though, and I believe that I'm half Ravenclaw, half Gryffindor, but I'm not positive on that one. Um, I really should take the Pottermore test again because I don't exactly know. What other mediums do you use for your paintings and drawings? Watercolor and acrylic are my two main mediums as of right now, but I absolutely love experimenting with oil pastel, chalk pastel, and tons of other crazy random mediums. I think eventually it'd be really cool to be a mixed media artist, but still incorporating my same style. But it's something that's constantly growing, constantly changing, and that's the fun of it. There's always new art supplies to try, and that just makes me so happy. Do you think realism would be easy to sell? Realism is super beautiful. I absolutely love realism. Um, for me personally, it's not my jam. It's not my kind of art. Um, so I think for me, creating it would be hard. I think just because it's realism doesn't mean that it's not going to be sellable. I think realism is absolutely beautiful. So. How did you start painting? That's a funny question. When I was a freshman in college, I took a drawing class and we had to buy paintbrushes and we did a lot of painting and I was super, super upset. I hated painting and I was so annoyed that we had to do painting in a drawing class. I absolutely despised acrylic and watercolor, which is ironic now because that's my main medium. But what I learned from that class was it's good to experiment with new materials and those materials that I hated so passionately back then. I hated them because I didn't know how to use them and taking that class I learned a lot about the mediums and proper ways to use them and it really opened my mind and it opened up possibilities to this whole other side of art that I had never known before and previously had hated. How did you find your drawing style? Um, I get this question all the time actually and there's a whole bunch of things that led up to me finding my drawing style. Years of art classes uh, and me creating every day on the side. I find that uh, keeping a sketchbook or gathering all of your little mini sketches that you have on receipt paper and in notebooks, gathering them all together and putting them in a notebook and then looking back on them and seeing which ones, which kinds of drawings you see repeat themselves uh, is a great way to kind of help figure out what your style is. Ooh, what was your style before you started doing this kind of stuff? Super colorful. Uh, let me show you these. So this is one of my most recent pieces. I did this within the last year. This is it. So yeah, this is one of my most recent pieces and uh, the style is like super colorful um, and it's in acrylic, it's on burlap. That's not normal for me, but I did it anyways. Um, but yeah, this was kind of what I was going for with my old work and here I'll put in a couple other pieces here for you to check out. But as you can see, I use that use of color in my new work too. So you can see how your style melds and changes into new things. Uh, and everything helps create what you currently are doing. How do you come up with ideas to draw? I keep a notebook with all of my ideas. Whenever I think of an idea, I write it down. I have a note section in my phone where I write down ideas there. I have a note section in my phone where I write down ideas there too. Basically, whenever I have an idea, I write it down. And then when I'm feeling stuck or blocked, I go back and look at all of those ideas and I pick one and I go with it. What did you want to be when you grew up as a child? I wanted to be an art teacher. I don't want to be a teacher anymore. I actually am going to school for graphic design um, and I love running my own business. I have no idea what I want to do now, um, but for a while I wanted to be a teacher. For a while I wanted to be a lawyer. For a long time I wanted to be an actress. And I still don't know what I want to do. Even though I'm going to school for graphic design and I have my own art business, I absolutely have no idea what I want to do. And that's fine. I feel like opportunity will find me. I will find opportunity and the perfect career path will emerge. <laughs> when did you begin working in this style? This particular style, I don't know what I would say for when I began working in it. Um, I've been doing the scribbles for years now. I recently added the watercolor, probably within the last six months. 
the polka dots and the squiggles have been evolving as I started adding the watercolor. It's all kind of just a mishmash of the last couple of years of my art coming together to be what it is today. My favorite brand of paint. Currently I have a couple different paint brands that I use. This one uh, is the Liquitex Heavy Body Professional um, Paint. I got it at Michael's. Uh, it's a little more on the spendy side, but I really like the way that it lays. Uh, it's super thick, so that's really nice. I also use Golden Acrylics, also kind of on the pricier side, but again, totally worth it. The quality looks so much better than cheaper paints. And for watercolor paints, I use this. It's a Cotman watercolor. They come in the tubes, you squeeze them out, and then you get them wet, and then you have your watercolor paint. I use Cotman. I also use the brand Academy uh, from time to time. I'm still working out trying to figure out my favorite brand of watercolor, but this is what I use currently. Why are you so good at art? Practice. Practice, practice, practice. Every, every artist is going to tell you that if you want to get better, if you want to be a great artist, all you have to do is practice. Draw every day. Paint every day. Create something whenever you can. The more you practice, the better you'll get. And it's so incredible to see how much you'll improve if you just start doing art every day. That's it for the Instagram questions. We're gonna move to the TikTok questions right now. Will you do any tutorials? Yes, I'm gonna be doing tutorials on my YouTube channel here. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those. Oh, and if you have any tutorial requests, drop them in the comments. Ever venture into any 3D art? Love your digital art and 2D art, so talented. 3D art, um, I hate sculpture. But the funny thing is I would love to get into sculpture. I just feel like it would take so much mental focus that I would have to take a break from everything else to really absorb myself into sculpture. Maybe that's something that I'll get into in the future, but currently 3D art is not something that I do. How long did it take for you to get into the style you do most? What styles did you do before you finally found what felt right? Uh, yeah, so I answered this one a little bit earlier, but I'm just going to uh, insert a couple photos of my old styles uh, and you can see the kind of progression from my old style to my new style and everything that I did in between. These are pieces from the last two years, so you can kind of see the progression from my, I wouldn't even say it was my original style, I would say from my beginning days when I just started learning art to where I am now. When did you start drawing? Did it come naturally to you or did you need to practice a lot? I started drawing when I was little, as soon as I could pick up a pencil. I always wanted to be an artist when I was little, so drawing was just something I did all the time. My mom's super artsy, so we always did crafts, but I didn't actually start learning how to draw until college. Uh, so in the last three years, I've been drawing as much as possible and my skills have improved so much. Um, I'll insert a couple photos from my first drawing classes and then, well, obviously you know what my work looks like now, but these are some of my first drawings that I did and just drawing every day, taking a few classes on it, it improves your skills so much. How do you use your pen? What's the right way to hold it? Because I feel you can draw way longer than me with the ink on it. This deserves a video in itself, so I'm going to do a video on this, how to use the pen and everything. I use Dr. P.H. Martin's India ink and I find that that works better than acrylic inks and calligraphy inks. So if you're using one of those two, I would maybe try switching to an India ink and see if that helps you. How do you keep your art organized? It's, it's, a, it's a whole thing. It's a, I don't keep it organized half the time, but I use a lot of portfolios and shelving. Um, I will do a video on that as well. I will do a room slash studio tour um, and I will go over how I store my art, how I store my supplies and everything like that for you. What is the longest you've worked on a painting for? Uh, I have a couple paintings that I've been working on for months in bits and pieces. This painting I started at the beginning of quarantine when I was super stressed out about being holed up in here and I was going through a lot of things. And I haven't since picked it up to finish it, but I've been working on it for a while and just like small bits and pieces. It's also an oil painting, so it takes a lot longer to dry. How long have you been an artist for? I love this question because I never used to consider myself an artist. My first year of school, taking all my art classes, I was getting comfortable with being an artist, but I still wasn't calling myself an artist. By the end of my first year, I was starting to create work on my own that wasn't related to coursework, and I found my voice, my style, and I started to sell prints of it, and that's when I considered myself an artist. So it's probably been about three years uh, since I started to consider myself an artist, so 
Last question. How old are you? I am 21 years old. I am in my last year of school. I'm going to school for graphic design and I have a minor in advertising. Um, it's really cool because I can use those skills with branding my business, which is super awesome. It's been super helpful. Thank you guys for all of the questions. If you have more, drop them in the comments. I don't know when I'll do another Q&A, but if I get enough questions being asked me through my TikTok and my Instagram, I'll definitely set one up. Before I let you guys go, I want to make sure that you're following me on my Instagram here. That's where I post most of my artwork. If you follow me on TikTok, that's where you'll get my tutorials and a lot of little video snippets. I also go live on TikTok every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you set your calendar so that it's 10 p.m. Central Standard Time as I do live in the Midwest and I would love to see you there. I take drawing requests and I draw on camera for you guys and then I sell everything the day after in my shop. Speaking of my store, if you want to shop my art, the link is down below but it's www.itsdesignedbyhanna.com Definitely go check that out. I sell stickers and tons of other fun stuff. Lastly, if you want to be a part of my monthly surprise sticker club, head over to my Patreon, also linked below, where for $5 a month you get a surprise sticker exclusive to my patrons. If that's something you're interested in, definitely go check it out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment. It would mean so much for me. Uh, I'm super excited to be getting into this whole YouTube thing. Let me know how I did for my first video. Also, if you have any comments or critiques for next videos, let me know. I'm probably going to be getting a microphone soon, so that's going to be cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you're the real MVP. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video.